Well, hi there. Warm welcome. You're watching Blueprint Explosive Exclusive and I'm Meghna Dekha. Well, days after the controversy broke out over Prime Minister Modi participating in a Ganesh Puja at the House of Chief Justice of India, the Prime Minister today has hit back sharply at the opposition camps. On your screens, you can see those visuals from 11th of September when this mega controversy had broken out. In fact, the Prime Minister compared the Congress and its ecosystem with the British, who said that they were also irked by Ganesh Utsav. Prime Minister Modi said that power-hungry people who are trying to divide the society now have problems with Ganesh Puja. He referred to a recent incident as well in Karnataka where a Ganesh idol was momentarily seized by the Bengaluru police amidst a protest against stone pelting during Ganesh Yatra. He said that the Congress has committed the sin of putting Lord Ganesh's idol behind bars and added that these hateful elements must be stopped. Listen in to the Prime Minister. Brothers and sisters, the people who are going to work on the streets and the people who are going to work on the streets were also in the same time of the Ganesh Utsav. Today, the people who are going to work on the streets and the people who are going to work on the streets सत्ता के भूखे लोगों को गणेश पूजा से परेशानी हो रही है आपने देखा होगा कांग्रेस और उसके इकोसिस्टम के लोग पिछले कुछ दिनों से इसलिए भड़के हुए हैं क्योंकि मैंने गणपति पूजन में हिस्सा लिया था well, the Prime Minister's attack comes in response to the opposition leaders taking umbrage to him attending Ganesh Puja at Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud's residence. In fact, the Congresses, as well as Uddhav Sena leaders, as well as their ally partners, had all objected to it, and they have even claimed that this raises questions on the minds of people about the independence of judiciary and the integrity of the Chief Justice of India himself. The BJP, however, has hit back at the opposition parties, alleging that their criticism has to do with them being anti-Hindu and to appease their vote banks. Watch this war of words. Vote bank ke liye Congress party kis prakar ka Hindu virodhi chehra apna sakti hai? Iska ek aur parichayak tab mila jab uske poore ecosystem ne Pradhan Mantri Modi ke Chief Justice of India jaakar Ganesh Puja karne ka virodh kiya. विरोध प्रधानमंत्री मोदी के चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया से मिलने का नहीं था क्योंकि इससे पहले भी वो कई बार मिले हैं जब प्रधानमंत्री मनमोहन सिंह अपने घर पे इफ्तार पार्टी रखते थे और उसमें चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया आते थे तब वो सेक्युलर माना जाता था पर आज जब प्रधानमंत्री मोदी चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया के घर पे गणेश पूजा के लिए गए तो गणेश पूजा का विरोध किया गया और उद्धव सेना से लेकर कांग्रेस के इकोसिस्टम ने किया so as the political face of over Prime Minister's puja at the Chief Justice's residence escalated, Samajwadi Party also reacted to Prime Minister Modi's comments asserting that opposition does not have an issue with Prime Minister doing Ganesh puja, but with him joining the Chief Justice at his residence, calling it a violation of the separation of power principle, which is enshrined in the Constitution. Watch this. पीएमओ में देश के सारे त्यौहार मनाएं, गणेशा जी की पूर्ति का 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 आयोजन करें, वहाँ पे वो दिवाली मनाएं, गुरु पर्व मनाएं, पूरे देश के लिए अच्छी बात है, लेकिन दो दो पावर हमारी जो डेमोक्रेसी के हैं, आप सीधे चीफ जस्टिस साहब के घर पे चले जा रहे हैं, ये चीजें अशोभनी हैं। So who really compromised the independence of the judiciary? Well, let's remind you some of the instances coming in from the past as well, which both camps seem to have forgotten. Well, during the emergency, nine high courts had ruled against arbitrary detention under MISA. We are going to put out those graphics on your screens as well. And interestingly, out of these nine, 18 of these judges who gave anti-government orders were transferred out. This was all during the emergency. And then there was Justice M.H. Baig, 
Soon after he retired as the Chief Justice of India, he was appointed to the Board of Directors of Gandhi Run National Herald as well. There are other instances that we'll be getting for you, but till then, let me go across to Pankaj Sharma, who's joining us, the political analyst, also joining us here on the show, Rochika Agarwal, a spokesperson with the BJP. Pankaj Sharma, I'm going to be coming to you first. The Prime Minister today has said, and I'm going to quote him here, that Congress and its ecosystem, they are just like the British who followed the policy of divide and rule. They too used to hate Ganesh Utsav and now the Congress and its ecosystem hates it. Is that right? See, any sensible prime minister must think twice before making such sweeping rem remarks that like Britishers, the Congress is also against celebrating Ganesh Utsav. Mm -hmm. When in 1893, Lokmani Bal Gangadhar dedicated his efforts to launch the Ganesh Utsav into a large, well-organized public event through his newspaper, Kesri. Mm -hmm. Was he a member of the Congress party or RSS, Jansang or BJP? RSS was born 32 years after that. I agree Jansang with you. So you agree that Ganesh Utsav is a unifier. It unifies everyone regardless of their caste, creed, position or stature. So you are yes. agreeing in a way with what the Prime Minister has said. So the people of Congress, he says that people of Congress and its so-called ecosystem is egged. It is not egged because Prime Minister attended the Ganesh Pujan at the residence of the Chief Justice. They are only asking a few pertinent questions. If Prime Minister is so devoted to Lord Ganesha, why did he not go to the residence of Chief Justice last year to perform Arti? Is it because there were no assembly elections in Maharashtra last year within two months of Ganesh Pujan? Why did Prime Minister chose only Marathi language mm. apart from English to inform the nation about his participation but in Ganesh? But is it Arthur wrong? Is it wrong time? if you have a Prime Minister meeting or visiting the, uh, the Chief Justice of India? After all, we have had similar instances in the past as well. The Chief Justice no, of India no in 2009, the then Chief Justice, had gone to the then Prime Minister's Iftar Prati, Manmohan Singh. We are all aware of those examples as well. See, so, see uh, an, uh, iftar, an Iftar organized by the Prime Minister is an official function. This RP How is an Iftar Party an official function, a, but Ganesh Otsav is an unofficial function? No, Iftar by the Prime Minister is an official function. And this, is a, and this is about RT and Asta. So let me bring that, let me take that question across to Rochika Agarwal. If that party, as Prime Minister Manmohan uh, Singh and in his era, the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh during his era had held, but that was an official function. So don't draw that parallel. Good evening, my Ram Ram uh, to everybody. And uh, since it is a wonderful, wonderful auspicious occasion of Anand Chaturdashi, so let me wish everybody a very, very happy Anand Chaturdashi. To my co-panelists also, who somehow I think has a lot of problems when the Prime Minister goes to attend a Ganesh Utsav. But if uh, the same Prime Minister, if there was a Prime Minister who attended an Iftar party, there were Iftar parties being held, at the president's house, at the prime minister's house, he had no problem. I am surprised when, uh, I, I just wanted to ask if the same, uh, the chief justice, uh, since he was a Hindu and he hosted a Ganesh Poochan and prime minister visited him, what had happened if the CGI was not a Hindu and a Muslim and it hosted a star party and the prime minister had gone there? Was there an issue with it or not? They don't, they would not have it. But Rochika Agarwal, the Congress and those who are supporting it are saying that it is not at all about the Congress or any of its allies being anti-Hinduism or anti-Ganesh Chaturthi. They are just saying that this kind of an image of the Prime Minister performing Ganesh Aarti with the Chief Justice of India puts doubts in the minds of people that the opposition will not get justice even in courts. Their objection is not with the Aarti but with the symbolism behind it. So when the PM was hosting a Nittar party with taxpayers' money, that was all great and lovely. Mm. The PM hosts a Nittar party with our money, all taxpayers' money, and invites the CJI, mm. the, C the Chief Justice. There, then the Chief Justice comes, visits, 
the prime minister get the pictures click and not and that's all lovely that that shouldn't be objective mm. but then the judicial and the you know to keep the keep the judiciary and the politics separate that doesn't come in picture then but it comes in picture when narendra modi ji visit the cjai mm. that is the problem is that and the that problem same ganeshi pankaj sharma is that the problem the congress the, which on that day on thursday i remember very well had come out and said there is no separation of power between the executive and the judiciary there were opposition leaders who all came out and said this is why sanjay rao came out and said that this is why opposition parties don't get justice in courts and the very next day arvind kejriwal the delhi chief minister got bail in the supreme court but that time the very next day on friday no one from the opposition said that the chief justice who performed puja uh, ganesh aarti the day before is compromised that day they hailed the chief justice of india they hailed the supreme court yeah. saying it is fair what sanjay raut says it is his personal opinion let me not uh, not comment person. on that huh? okay in that case let me tell you is the chief justice of india compromise can any such aspersion be cast upon him if the very next day you also had the supreme court granting bail to the delhi chief minister see the point is are chief you still justice, questioning the supreme court and its wisdom and its impartiality no, simple no, question no, pankaj no, sharma no, yes or no, no question but, nobody is questioning supreme court's impartiality supreme court's wisdom the point is that the chief, chief justice, justice Yeah, the current Chief Justice of India took over in 2022. Mm-hmm. He must have celebrated Ganesh Pujan last year also. Did he invite the Prime Minister then? But no. if it is not impacting the the impartiality of the Supreme Court, if it is not impacting any of the judgments of the Supreme Court, then what's the problem? See, I am saying this. The 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 question is different. Should no, uh, that Sarkis- is the question. I am asking you that question. should a serving chief justice invite the serving prime minister of india to a personal pujan at his residence then the prime minister should have gone there or not is the question the prime Bhavadesh minister ke iftar party pe you can go but you have a problem if chief justice of india ke aarti pe he went it prime was okay minister, if the congress does it not okay if the bjp does it prime minister in his official capacity organizing an official iftar is something different it is a semi semi okay. public function no it's one an says official an iftar party is an official event which is organized yes. okay. by the prime minister but ruchika agarwal ruchika agarwal i think the larger point that he is trying to make is that the prime minister's iftar party it was an official it was at the prime minister's residence this is the chief justice's residence and there are no such precedents exact precedents of this happening This is height of hypocrisy. This is height of hypocrisy. A country where there is more than eighty percent of the Hindu population, there are festivals, and we talk about unity, the unity and diversity. Mm. Where we celebrate Ganesh Utsav. Initially, it used to be only in Maharashtra. Now it is celebrated all around the country. Mm. They have a Arsi problem Bhal, in the prime Pilar. minister attending. Let me complete. Let me complete. They have they have a problem in in the in the prime minister attending. the cgi is ganesh utsav mm. but these people they always say democracy khatre mein hai where did that democracy khatre mein hai go when there were similar instances in the in the, uh, in the past as well in february this year former chief justice joseph korian asked the cgi chandrachur to drop the supreme court motto yato dharma soto jaya and uh, because they said this is this is taken by from the mahabharata uh. at the same event uh, that was organized uh, let me just tell you that was organized by the this left ecosystem that event the uh, justice joseph said the supreme court motto diverges from the national motto by the implication in the national ethos hmm. same jo- uh, justice joseph equated the catholic church in 2018 to the preamble of india but no one cried secularism khatre mein hai then hmm. what happens why this dual standards why this hypocrisy yes it's not about the why secularism that? per se but also about the separation of power which has blown hot and cold all throughout the emergency time as we saw several such instances are there but let's not forget 
and this is something that no, interestingly even pankaj sharma has pointed out bal gangadhar tilak had used ganesh chaturthi as a way to unite people that this is one Absolutely. thing which will unite us as indians but today why is it that it is being seen as a divisive mode well with that we are running out of time thank you so much ruchika agarwal for joining us pankaj sharma as well for joining us here on the show with that we are slipping into a short break don't go anywhere we return in 2 minutes